Oh, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of days trading session Tuesday, the 15th of November 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the uh, app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's try and discuss exactly what's happening here, folks. Okay, where we um, currently stand, the current status quo. Uh, let's just give you the closing numbers first of all. FTSE closed uh, up no point. Let's just refresh that screen just to confirm. Yep, oh, up 0.6%, uh, 6790. DAX closed at 10730, up 0.4%. The French CAC up 0.6%. So, certainly a, a positive day for European indices, even though the uh, Asian markets were certainly weaker overnight. Okay, and let's see exactly why. Um, first of all, uh, economic data really from Germany. GDP came in uh, below expectations, so therefore a bearish bias. The CPI data certainly came in in line from France, so again a neutral bias. Okay, and then we had retail. Uh, we had GDP data actually from Italy that actually came in slightly better than expected. So again, uh, positive bias there. Although uh, Italy certainly has its own concerns with regards to this potential referendum and the uh, political uh, future of the uh, the actual uh, PM there. So again. Um, a lot of uncertainty, etc., going in towards the 4th of December, potential vote and outcome. So again, uncertainty. And that's one of the reasons why the European markets are actually weak. And another reason why the euro is actually weak. It, it, it's not only due to uh, risk sentiment being or risk being embraced. It's, it's actually due to fear and uncertainty. So bear that in mind when you're trading the euro USD. And also taking uh, cues for the euro. As we all know, a weaker euro helps exports and therefore European equities move higher. And that hasn't been the case recently. And that's primarily due to the reason why. Okay, the uh, uncertainty regarding Italy. Obviously, uh, uncertainty regarding France as well. After Mr. Trump's win, you have all these hardcore radical extremists, etc. gaining power in Europe. And obviously the anti-establishment, etc. Uh, anti Brussels, so again, it doesn't bode well for the Euro USD. Okay, RPI inflation data out of the UK certainly came in weaker, but that was rebutted by Mr. Carney, <coughs> who gave a, a very hawkish outlook on inflation going forward and um, certainly even argued for a toleration of in inflation uh, being much higher and that the, the, uh, the actual BOE will tolerate higher inflation and therefore that's not good for uh, the consumer folks, okay, to a large extent. Although on one hand it may, means that um, they'll basically wait for a long time to to hike rates, okay. Another other other obviously concept is that uh, uh, higher inflation erodes your uh, disposable income, uh, your real wages, etc. And that certainly isn't good news either. So bear that in mind. And that's probably one of the reasons why he's uh, he said that he will tolerate higher inflation. So how we interpret that is that bullish, bearish. FTSE itself certainly interpreted as being bearish. Not only that, obviously, we have um, the BOE no longer providing stimulus, so therefore the FTSE 100 certainly isn't very attractive anymore, bear that in mind, compared to European equities, given the QE via Europe, okay? So just bear that in mind as well. Now, ZEW current situation came in uh, weaker, although the uh, economic sentiment actually came in stronger, so mixed set of data there. European trade balance actually came in stronger, and that, will, that was obviously expected with the, with the collapse in the euro to a large extent, All but GDP came in uh, flat, okay? And uh, economic sentiment in Eurozone actually came in stronger as well. So so net-net, slightly better uh, for Europe, but German data certainly weaker, and that's what's dragging this market down. So just bear that in mind. Now, uh, the US market is the one that threw me off because I was short the, the NASDAQ going into the US session, and we had retail sales certainly beating on the uh, upside, and that's what sent the NASDAQ screaming higher. Certainly stops out. Although I did subsequently take another trade, and I was actually successful on that. So... We currently have that. That's the current status quo. Okay, that's the current status quo. Uh, the uh, retail sales in, in US case certainly came in stronger, although business inventories came in weaker. We have Mr. Fisher in three minutes now, speaking at half six, and then we have retail sales. Uh, watch out for the API weekly crude oil stock data, uh, given the fact that oil has rallied almost four percent today on the back of OPEC uh, uh, hopes. Okay, hopium trade back in the oil uh, market. So let's just quickly look at the oil market here, folks. Okay, look at the oil price, if I can locate it first, bear with me. Okay, so you certainly have a bounce of oil given the uh, doji candle yesterday, so certainly a thrust higher on oil. And that certainly helped the FTSE, along with the Vodafone, certainly helped the FTSE as well to a large extent. 
Although having said that, it's, it's failed to uh, send the FTSE back higher above 6800 uh, and that certainly isn't a good sign. With the surge in oil and uh, obviously positive earnings from Vodafone to a large extent have failed to send or propel the FTSE 100 higher. Now you are coming into resistance and turbulence. So uh, again, it certainly is indicated as being bearish for the FTSE 100. So again, looking for downside price action on the, on the price of oil and the FTSE as well. So just bear that in mind certainly has broken out the downtrend okay and we'll see exactly how this trades going to the close okay so as situation with the uh, the price of oil let's bring up a cable as well let's bring up GBE USD give you an insight with regards to sterling obviously weaker inflation data certainly did put pressure on the uh, price of sterling and you can see here certainly a, a downdraft we are coming into support now for sterling and therefore you are indicating resistance or for the FTSE 100 or indicating weakness for the FTSE 100 so bear that in mind okay so weaker inflation data although mr Carney, like i said did say that you would tolerate higher inflation rates so be interesting interesting to see how the uh, sterling trades now a lot of the focus it will be remain it will remain on the dollar the USD JPY trade certainly seems to be exhausting itself now. You have broken out of this uh, key range. Technically speaking, your next level is 111. Okay, there's nothing really in the daily chart that's stopping this from screaming higher. The four hour chart, I can't really see anything either. Again, it's about the reflation trade. Okay, and this reflation trade obviously is a stronger dollar trade. And now the question is how much of a stronger dollar is actually hurting the uh, the actual uh, US export market as well. So bear that in mind. So US exports becoming uh, more expensive. Okay, folks, just bear that in mind. Uh, and um, not only that, uh, especially if Mr. Trump wants to revive uh, growth, uh, this weak dollar policy that the Fed has been obviously adhering to is going to is certainly coming to question now and what are the repercussions of that as well so bear that in mind also copper as well today copper certainly weaker as well um, dr copper certainly has led the rally higher and now we're, we're starting to reverse now you can certainly see this in the mining sector so you can see the mining sector in the weekly chart this is the FTSE 100 mining sector and you can certainly see that we have held resistance and we have started to reverse now the daily chart as well certainly putting in a reversal okay be interesting to see how what we do when we test this uh, breakout zone okay see how the market responds and how the market reacts bring up the chart of copper as well if i bring up the chart of copper on the weekly chart you can see that we've got a immense topping tail in the weekly chart so certainly a reversal here daily chart topping tail certainly showing weakness as well whether or not we go down and retest this breakout zone again certainly debatable 60 minute chart certainly doesn't look healthy given the hns formation on the chart of copper so so basically what it's telling me is a strong dollar this strong dollar is actually hurting commodities now bear that in mind okay and uh, until we see some real concrete uh, policy detail with regards to mr trump's uh, so-called tax court fiscal stimulus policy again i think the market really has discounted in the potential trump rally so bear that in mind it's certainly searching for more details now let's bring up the actual uh, german indices again german dax daily chart still sub 10 hundred okay even with this weaker euro 101.0730 fails to propel higher that certainly is a bad sign okay there's certainly a divergence there and it's not looking good 60 minute chart you can see that we are still making lower highs okay still a low high thus far okay we did bounce off gap fill we certainly bounced off gap fill we certainly held gap fill double bottom at 10660 uh, and we subsequently bounced but we are now back into resistance again it's all about the lower high are we going to be creating or manufacturing this potential hns formation uh, as you can see here let me just show this to you folks okay so you certainly have this hns your left shoulder here your head okay the right shoulder then obviously we get crushed even with the rally in the nasdaq today the dax fails fail to rally as well so again another warning sign she's certainly telling me that european equities are certainly weak and uh, and think we all know why italy okay the next potential shoe to drop so keep an eye on Italy, keep an eye on the European indices and see what the next potential uh, move there is as well. Okay, Looking at the French CAC now, DAX uh, CAC at the moment, daily chart still remains bearish, still within that red candle uh, on the daily chart, 60 minute chart at the moment, still making lower highs. So from my perspective, you're looking to potentially move lower with this potential HNS formation. Looking at the FTSE 100, still inside bar, Okay, until we take out this red candle on a daily chart at 106830, my understanding and my bias would certainly remain bearish looking for lower prices 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 again you're stuck and capped below that 6815 level fail to propel higher okay again you're looking to potentially go back lower back down to 6700 and 6680 again brexit hard brexit concerns 10 minute chart again double top 6815 6820 failure to move higher 
we have held a technical level previous resistance equal support at 6775 uh, so again 6775 is your support level and you still have the unfilled gap to close at 6750 so again um, interesting okay 6750 gap remains open so bear that in mind so we could certainly be uh, vulnerable to a flush there also we have said uh, another gap below at 6725 and both those gaps really are in play for me okay certainly both those gaps are in play uh, especially if uh, this oil rally starts to fizzle and OPEC uh, obviously pull out another water pistol okay so again a lot of variables to uh, consider a lot of variables to consider in terms of economics going uh, into tomorrow uh, UK unemployment rate uh, average earnings again is going to be important for the UK uh, we do have wage price inflation overnight from Australia again that's if you're trading the uh, the Aussie dollar in terms of European indices no real major market moving event for Europe other than the fact that you are looking at some UK data uh, in terms of US yes there is some uh, data there that can actually uh, swing European indices around one o'clock so keep an eye on that but I think that's a good summation really from my perspective is that the German DAX is capped below 10800 and with a weaker euro still unable to bounce not good news okay uh, you weaker German data today as well certainly exerting more pressure on the DAX Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and um, I wish you uh, a successful trading week. Goodbye now.